Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is T. Today we are going to be talking about tips to help you handle and reduce stress. The first one is get organized. Okay, writing things down is my best friend to stay organized because I have so much going on inside my brain okay it's, it's so many people up there talking at one time so when i need something or when i need to do something writing it down is my best bet and writing it down helps me stay organized number two is i think sleep is one of the number one causes on why people are stressed don't get me wrong i don't know if that's like a fact so sleep get enough sleep okay y'all because i know people who's always screaming they're not getting enough sleep but they're also going to sleep at like 10 o'clock at night and they need to be up by six o'clock in the morning or they need to be somewhere by six o'clock in the morning so you probably should rearrange your sleeping schedule like your night routine just so you can go to bed early enough so you can wake up early enough like me I've been doing this pretty much most of my life. I go to sleep early, so I'll wake up early. Even if I don't go to sleep early, I still wake up pretty early. Stay asleep past a certain time. Like my body just naturally wakes me up. And I think that is a privilege if you ask me. Because when I wake up tired, I am not the happiest person. Okay, so when I go to sleep, let me sleep so I can get my sleep in. The next one is connect with others. So I know there's a lot of people who's out there who's like, I'm an introvert, I don't like people, blah, 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 all this and that, but we're, you're still a human being and you still need some type of interaction with human beings, okay? So connect with people. It's not, I mean, it is hard. It's very hard, especially as an adult, to find people that you click with and just to find people, period, because people got lives out here and people are working, so it's very difficult. <laughs> but if you can, find them people. The next one is move your body. That is the biggest one, okay? That's why my boyfriend and I, we work out every single day because it reduces stress and it helps us and it keeps us in, at a, in a good mindset, okay? Keep us mentally well. So move your body. Even if that's not going to the gym, it could be dancing, it could be whatever it is. Just move your body. The next one is deep breath work. So this is a fun one. I actually do this in the morning when I do my meditation. And I got it because I was reading up on meditation, I believe, and stress relievers and all this stuff. And I've learned that Navy SEALs, they practice breath work. And when I say that, I mean they they breathe in for a certain amount of min I mean seconds, hold it for a certain amount of seconds, and then they breathe out for an amount of seconds. I breathe in for, I think, five seconds, hold it for four seconds, breathe out seven seconds. And it really does help because I think it just like it, it calms down your heartbeat, which calms down the nerves, which calms you down. <laughs> the next one is assert yourself. I can't tell you how many times I have been stressed because I've let people like run over me or talk a certain way towards me. My stress comes from letting people treat like back then was from letting people treat me a certain way. Now it's not happening. I'm clapping back. I don't care. I don't care if I have to smile at you and be passive aggressive while I tell you you're a dumb bitch. <laughs> but whatever it may be, I'm not letting anyone run over me. The next one is talk to someone. Highly recommend a therapist. If you got close friends, if you can't afford therapy, then talk to close friends. Somebody you trust. Your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother. I don't know who it is. But someone you trust, talk to them about it. But make sure you talk to someone who is a really good listening air and someone who don't run like just run their mouth because i'm not going to say people talk to people about certain things and confidence but they do for the most part they do like when i have people talk to me about certain things there's no way we're going to talk about this again unless you bring it up you have to bring it up because i'm not telling nobody because that's no one else's business and i find one of the biggest things to me is having people confident enough to come to me and trust me with stuff that's going on inside their head. That's what I would say, honestly. And I, and that's why I feel like it's my job to never run back and tell somebody else what some, what's going on in somebody else's life. Just because, like, that's not cool, you know? When people talk to you about certain things, that's just, that's super intimate. If you ask me, it's like super intimate. It's like they're literally telling you their thoughts. And I don't know what's more invasive than that. This is going to be a little hard pill to swallow if you ask me. But um, accepting things that you cannot change. 
sometimes we just have to live with certain things okay and that's just how life is you know if you can't change it you just can't you just have to learn how to live with it which brings me to the next one is adapt you have to adapt to your surroundings if you can't change something you have to adapt to it you have to be able to live with it and move on and then the last one is if it's something you can change alter okay it, it's called altering your surroundings if you can change it change it me i changed this entire room around okay for me all right i i changed my style because that's something i can control i change i change so many things because i can and i'm changing every single day i'm growing i'm changing so if you can alter your surroundings to fit who you are in that moment i hope this video finds you guys well hope you guys enjoyed it and i will talk to you guys later bye